Hello, my name is Felix Schaller. I'm a designer and software engineer. Welcome to my new video podcast, discussing a new approach describing fluid dynamics, fractal aerodynamics. It's an idea that came up when occupying myself with fluid simulation during my professional work. The more I digged into the topic, I saw that there is something missing, so I developed this idea during several years and validated it with various experiments. This podcast tells you more about what's behind that idea and compares it to current state-of-the-art aerodynamics. First of all, I would like to describe my personal background. For years I worked for the visual effects industry where I occupied myself deeply with the topics of numeric computation with all kinds of physical effects. Rigid body, multi-body, particles and mainly fluid dynamics. The major aspect in the visual effects and the interactive field such as games is the aspect of computability while approaching a realistic solution. In this business we make use of the new state-of-the-art technologies achieving incredible results we sell in upcoming shows. By applying computational models to simulate physical behaviors it turns out that the worlds of nature and physics behave fractal. But before we start with the details, I would like to give you a brief introduction over the topic that are part of this video channel. It's a summary of the content that is separated into many chapters. In the first part I will discuss several flight theories and pursue the question why the fundaments of aerodynamic like lift and turbulence are still one of the unsolved problems for mankind. The Bernoulli principle, or generally spoken as potential theory, is the fundament of all modern aerodynamics. I will show on several simple examples why that early misconceptions of fluid behavior is still contributing to the controversy we experience today in that scientific field. Starting from that point, I will deduct an alternative fluid model, the fractal fluid model, which extends that conclusions, so then gives not only a proper answer for lift, but describes also the reason for turbulence and why fluid has a dualistic feature. Last feature is so far only known from quantum physics, but fluids own it too. We will further discuss new simulation methods for fluid dynamics and also structural mechanics. Those methods will help to calculate problems like fluid motion in a fraction of time than achieved today, thanks to the fractal nature of the model. This leads us to new technical conclusions. We will validate these conclusions in experiments and lay out concepts and show results of first attempts. It's finally no surprise why the technical implementation comes to a similar result like nature's role model. Aerodynamics developed a lot, since the first scientists in the 17th century, like Newton, Bernoulli, Venturi or Euler, and later also others like Brandtl, laid the fundament. We also celebrate over 100 years of human flight and space exploration. It seems confusing that despite these achievements, the physics behind aerodynamics is hardly understood and remain mysterious in many parts. Thus it's still one of the least secured science disciplines in modern physics. But thanks to computer models and excessive render power, 
we can create very detailed simulations. But rendering fluid today takes a lot of computation resources and can so far resolve only parts of its behavior. In most cases we have to use simplifications because it would otherwise be too much for modern supercomputers. The equations are as well a secret because there is no mathematical solution known so far that would allow to calculate their results directly. So what the computer does is guessing the results to numerical approaches. And finally, an aerodynamic scientist has to validate any simulation result through a wind tunnel experiment before it gets into application. So in the next chapter of this podcast we will discuss the struggle with current methods and promote a total new way how to interpret fluid motion which can solve all the trouble with aerodynamic behavior. I hope you will enjoy joining me on this exciting journey. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Thank you.